and your 2012 CAA baseball champions are the Seahawks of UNCW. While UNCW has had a lot of success in the Colonial Athletic Association, the conference has undergone a lot of changes in the last two years that are affecting each sport in its own way. Seahawk play-by-play -play man Mike Vaccaro and ESPN Wilmington's Ben Darnell weighed in on how these changes are affecting men's basketball. Latest change, George Mason leaving, going to the Atlantic 10 Conference, so they're leaving this year. July 1st will be in the Atlantic 10. July 1st, Georgia State goes to the Sun Belt Conference USA. We'll welcome in Old Dominion as well. So three schools leaving the conference. You've got College of Charleston coming into the CAA, coming in from the Southern Conference. So right now, uh, from a basketball standpoint, there will be 10 schools playing in the, the CAA. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens uh, after that point. UNCW is really caught in the middle because not only do they not have a football team, but right now their basketball team is not producing anywhere near they want it to be, or at least anywhere near the Atlantic 10 or some other person that wants to, or some other conference that wants to pluck them out. So UNCW right now is not a desired team to get out. And the question is, will UNCW keep their relationship with the CAA? Ben Darnell and Cam Ellis, the assistant sports editor for the Seahawk, weighed in on the current uncertainty. The CAA has lost a lot of teams, and it's all been this jostling around. It seems like the CAA or the second-tier conferences are just kind of seeing where they're going to fit in. There's a bunch of different opinions about really why everything is going on the way it's going on as far as the evolution of the college landscape. And it's kind of a domino effect, and the CAA is caught in the middle. They're kind of scrambling right now. It's, um, it's not good for a league that was once considered the best of the mid-majors. Even though the CAA is rapidly changing, it is affecting each sport differently. Women's golf coach Cynthia Ho talked about the impact on her team. With the addition of College of Charleston next year, I think we add, we add a very good school that's close to us. So we want to keep inviting teams, that, especially in our sport, that have uh, strong programs in golf. I think that helps us make us better. But overall, it doesn't impact us as much as some of these other teams. The question many are asking right now is if it is in UNCW's best interest to remain in the conference and if they should want to stay in the conference. They have a chance to really recruit to other schools that maybe like a UNC Charlotte or UNC Asheville say, look, this used to be a Virginia basketball conference. That's not the case anymore. We have a, we have a chance to kind of build this within the North Carolina, South Carolina borders, make this more of a southern conference than it used to be, and kind of start from the ground up again. As a conference, as different schools, you just got to survive all these changes and, and try to make the conference that you're in better. Talking to athletic director Jimmy Bass, knowing Tom Yeager and what he wants to do, that's going to be a marriage that's going to stay as long as it possibly can, and one needs the other right now.